Hey guys, this is a haul. I want to start out with the things that were sent to me. Lisa Lisa D1, I sent her some stuff and she sent me some stuff back. I asked her if she could give me the Too Faced bronzer, the Chocolate Soleil. This is a matte bronzer and this has real cocoa butter, uh, cocoa butter, cocoa powder in it. And when I opened this, I just wanted to eat it. You open it up and it just smells like chocolate and it's really nice comes with this mirror and I have to say this works really good I love the consistency of this and turns out to be my favorite bronzer is from Bobbi Brown the medium to and if you compare these two you notice something okay the Bobbi Brown you can tell I already used a lot they're exactly the same color. Okay, I would say the Too Faced one is a tiny bit darker, but not very much. But if you look at them, I mean, they're, they're almost the same. So I'll swatch these for you if you put this on. God, and I just love the smell of this. Just feel like biting into it. Okay, you're not gonna, well, maybe a little. Yeah, so I'm really loving this bronzer. This is this is amazing. I love this stuff. And I couldn't get a hold of it and she was nice enough to send me this. Okay, sorry phone rang. As I was saying, the NYC uh, cream stick, she sent me two of these also and this is Big Apple I think they come like this I mean a lot of people have been doing videos about these and I have to say they are awesome I have used these on several different people just to see how they work and it doesn't settle into pores if you have large pores they're easy blendable they stay on I mean you just put it on and you just you can blend it out right on the apples of the cheeks or whatever and look how amazing this color is and it does leave a slight, slight dewy finish on the cheek once you put it on. This is in Plaza Pink. I'm putting this on a little heavier so it's easier to see on camera. And this beautiful finish it has. These, I have to say, these are amazing, gosh. So thanks again, Lisa, for sending that. That's so nice. Take this off, okay. Now let me get to the e.l.f. products. Ever since Amna sent me a couple of e.l.f. Products. I thought I would try some of the other products they have because I'm loving this still this for oily skin or combo skin. Put this on over makeup, put it on over powder. You stay shine free for a really, really long time. And so I really love this. I love the sturdy packaging. It's almost like NARS. Uh, I'll start out with this bronzer I got. This is called Cool. Yeah. This is the cool bronzer. Um, I'm gonna try this just with a 150. Just go in and see what it looks like. Okay, I can already tell. Okay, I still have some of the cream stick on here, but I can already tell this is a really nice color. And it goes on really sheer and matte. That's what I like. I'm not too much into dewiness. I love more powdery bronzers. I'm not too much into cream bronzers. They're just easier to blend in. It just looks more natural. And I got this here. This is a duo eyeshadow cream. But this one I already swatched. It's okay for highlighting, I think. It also blends okay, really another easy. Another product I got is the Shimmering Facial Whip. This illuminates the skin. I think this is would be like a great dupe for the luster drops from MAC because I tried both of these and I have to say I like the e.l.f. one much better. You put some of this on, blend it out and they don't have no color payoff for me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the luster drops. They come out like water and you blend them so if you see the difference you know you see some of the MAC but look at the e.l.f. one far, far better color payoff than the MAC luster drops ok 
Okay, then I got the lip primer plumber plumper plumper plumber plumper plumper plumber whatever. It's like this. This one conditions the skin. And this one is the plumber God, plumper plumber. Oh, God, I can't think again. Okay, still the heat getting to me. Yeah, as you probably can tell, I didn't really prepare for this video, but I wanted to get it done before the sun goes down and it's about to get dark and the lighting would be too bad so I stop with the lip plumber plumper whatever um, then I got the eyeliner and shadow stick this is also one of these dual sticks this is an eyeliner it's in a really nice brown and then on the other side it has like this cream stick in it. You could use this for a shadow base or just for highlighting. You see that? I don't know. See how that goes. Then the lip lock pencil. So this keeps like products, lip products in place and keeps them from traveling. Give that a try. Then the liquid eyeshadow. So this would be good for highlight. This reminds me a little of the Laura Mercier, the eye base, but it's a lot more shinier and thicker. Okay, now this is an eyebrow treat and tame. This I'm really eager to try out. This has like this white liquidy stuff on it. I guess you, this is what it tames. It's supposed to keep the eyebrows in place with. And this is like a mascara brush. And this comes like in different colors also. But I think I got this in too light because I have fairly dark eyebrows. Let's see how that works. And the blush I got, this is a new color. This reminds me of, well I can't think of the name right now. This is um, Blush Rose it's called. Let me swatch this for you. Make a real nice rose color. And I love how all their powder products apply. This is a duo eyeshadow cream. This can be used as a base or alone as an eyeshadow really creamy consistency and I love the colors this is like top color and a really nice brown so for a drugstore brand I think this is a pretty good brand especially with the colors the powders how they apply I mean just this alone is worth getting if you have oily skin or combination skin um, there's no animal testing on any of these products which I think is great and so yeah i hope you enjoyed watching and i want to tell lisa lisa d1 again thank you for sending me this i really love this and thanks for watching have a great evening bye